It's a quiet morning on Burrard Inlet, but it is Canada's busiest shipping lane, and that means boaters need to take extra care. 90% of recreational boating fatalities happen to people who are not wearing PFDs, and uh, you know it can, it can save your life. Make sure it fits properly, make sure it's in good condition, and if you got little kids on board, don't put them in an adult uh, life vest, put them in one that fits. Keeping your boat in good condition is important as well. The biggest thing with boating is maintenance. Um, there's a lot of things that I would be bringing my boat in for um, once a year, and that would be right at the beginning of the year and once at the end of the year. So basically twice a year I'd be bringing my boat in for service. In addition to a life jacket, safety equipment you should have in your boat includes a rope, Whistle. both day and night flares, and an air horn. Emergency oars. Del Patrum also recommends that you pack a basic toolkit including hose clamps if you can. You have to stay at least 50 meters away from any shipping boats as well. If you ever see any sort of marine emergency, you can call star 16. <laughs> Rescue officials also say that alcohol and boating don't mix. Drinking and boating is, uh, uh, can be a real problem. It's illegal. Um, some people think that it's acceptable to uh, go out and, and fish and drink and then operate a motor vessel. It's not. It's, uh, uh, the consequences uh, can be deadly and the, um, the, the law will treat it as uh, uh, equally with uh, drinking and driving. So don't forget, before you head out, make sure you've got your life jacket, your boat checks out, you let someone know where you're going and leave the beer at home. John Hall in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.